another experiment here that will uh, deal with hydrogen bonds. I have a, a column here packed with silica gel and a cotton plug in the bottom of it. We're going to add some Kool-Aid to this, grape Kool-Aid, and separate the colors. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll place it in here, and then I'll add my Kool-Aid to it. And you will notice that the Kool-Aid gets stuck to the column, and you'll see that it's starting to separate right there. Okay, I'll place it back in there. We're going to add 6% isopropanol to it. Okay, I'll add quite a bit of that. And then I'll gently push, and you're going to see that a separation starts to happen there. Okay, right there, and you can see the red color is starting to separate from the blue color. Okay, I'm going to add some more. And we're going to let that separation continue. And the nice thing about this method is we can actually collect okay, the red color. I'm just going to kind of gently push the solution through. Okay. And you see that the solution is starting to collect the red color. I'm going to collect the red color in this beaker. Push it some more. Okay, there you go. I'm going to pause the video and allow that separation to happen. You'll see what it looks like in a minute. Okay, I've resumed the video here so that you can get a look at the red color dripping out into the beaker as I put a little pressure on that. So we're collecting the red color off first with a 6% uh, isopropanol or rubbing alcohol. I'll pause video again and complete the separation. Okay, now the separation's done. I have pushed the solution through so that we've collected all the red and now we see there's only blue left in the column. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that over to this beaker. Okay, and I'm gonna push through a different concentration of solution. This time it'll be 28% rubbing alcohol or isopropanol. So let me put a generous amount of that in there. Okay, and we can probably see the blue coming off already. There it is, it's dripping off. But what I'm going to do again is I'll push that solution through and we'll be able to collect all of the blue coming from that. And you can see right now that the blue is starting to drip out as I gently push the solution through. Okay, and I'll pause the video again and you'll see in a couple minutes what it looks like. Just wanted to resume here really quickly so that you guys get a look and see all the blue coming out. Okay, I will finish pushing the solution through and we'll take a look at the final result. Okay, we see the final result. Our column now is clear, meaning that both the red and the blue has been taken off. And let's see what we've got. I've got a beaker of blue, and I have a beaker of red. Okay, separated by hydrogen bonds. The purple color, made of red and blue, binds to the column by hydrogen bonds. The red comes off at 6% rubbing alcohol because the polarity is different then 28% rubbing alcohol, 28% uh, is less polar. So the red comes off first with the 6%, and then the blue comes off, okay, at the 28%, which is less polar. So we're using hydrogen bonds and different polarities of solutions in order to allow a separation to happen. And again, our column is made out of silica gel, which has water molecules in it, which hydrogen bonds to our purple color, which is made out of red and blue. And that's how it works.